Oh. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Abedi Pele to review. We're taking a look at a card who is five foot nine, high medium work rates, left footed, five star skills, five star weak foot. So already starting off really hot on this card, to be fair. Very, very good stuff here and there. Uh, player traits. He has... Flare trait, speed dribbler, playmaker, and technical dribbler. So he does not have finesse shot trait or outside foot shot trait, which is always helpful to have, of course. Some players hit finesse shots really nicely even without it. Uh, so we'll see what's up with that. In-game attributes. Uh, we'll just use the card on a Deadeye chemistry style for now because of the shooting boost. But most people are giving him a marksman, uh, which would make a little bit of sense. So here's the thing, right? So... The Marksman Chemistry style, it gives him a jumping boost and a strength boost, but then you also improve the attacking positioning with the Deadeye Chemistry style, right? So, honestly, either or doesn't really matter. Um, I don't think it's going to be that big of a nuisance, but we're going to use the Deadeye Chemistry style for the review. So, we are going to be working with Perfect Pace, Perfect Shooting at a 95 for volleys. His passing is in an unbelievable area, right? Long passing at an 86 should be perfectly fine for the most part. Um, but everything else, vision, crossing, curve, all in a very, very good area. Now, here's the main thing with Abedi Pele, uh, Abedi Pele. He needed the base card stats for dribbling to be increased to essentially be perfect, right? It's very important that they do this because he has an average body type, okay? That body type was always going to be a nuisance on the card no matter what, right? If your gameplay feels a certain way, that average body type may be annoying, right? Maybe. But... Them improving it to be close to 99 in every single stat, because obviously balances out of 98, is very, very important for a card like this, okay? Very important. Uh, he's got 99 heading accuracy, which is great, but his jumping is low, so that's why some people are giving him a marksman, just in case you get into those, like, physical type uh, situations, but, you know, um, dead eye, dead eye, dead eye, there it is. Uh, so yeah, we'll be working with the physical being on the lower side, but yeah, the main thing is definitely going to be uh, attacking capabilities and seeing whether or not the card dribbles a little bit better than the previous versions, you know, like that's going to be uh, very, very important. So uh, yeah, with a Betty Pele, guys, we'll be using him mostly in the 4 and 2 and 2 tactics. Uh, Mordientes will be the guy on getting behind, stay forward, and we'll use a Betty Pele on just getting behind. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, see how he plays in game. Hopefully he's a beast. I was also using Joel Cole at center mid, so because we're going to do this review afterwards. Yeah, that was good. The initial play was really good. You gotta be able to use that elastico to open up the space, you know? Nice, great finish. Let's go. Good finish, good finish. LA's dribbling on this card finally, finally actually feels really good, regardless of body type. Hey, you know, try it from a distance. Why not? Why not? We take it. Nice. That's him in the camp position, too. Nice. Good job, buddy. Well positioned. Great finish. I love that. Movement was really good there, too. Nice shot. No green, and it was still very, very direct. Though solid. Oh, let me switch then. Oh, this game. Oh, oh, he does a dip shot. Hey, EA, you guys watch all my Betty Pelly reviews and you just heard me talk really poorly about him all the time, man. You're like, oh, we got to do this to this card. Okay. <laughs> Fire 
Oh, he's got the weak foot for it. That's why I tried it. That was a really good pass by Cole and a great finish by uh, Abedi, to be fair. I think he moved his goalkeeper a little bit there. This card's dribbling is so much better now. I don't know what they did to it, but they did something. Oh yeah. Literally, I have zero issues with his rib with his dribbling now. Sure, we'll take that. <laughs> See, I tell you guys this all the time. It's the fix of making the dribbling maximized, right? Like they maximize his dribbling. Maybe that's what it was, and now it's good. Now it feels responsive in game. Oh, that was close though. That was close. Beautiful goal. Let's go, boys. Got him on the shot cancel there, too. Oh, man. Yeah, he got lucky there because he did a random slide challenge. Oh, nice try. Yeah, you can clearly see the responsiveness from his left stick now. It's way more responsive than it was in those previous two cards. What a pass by Pele. Pele's passes are super well weighted. Nice finish, Morientes. Good stuff, good stuff. Wow, I almost like glitched my way past. <laughs> oh, more power. With him, I got to put more power. First time strike. Ooh. Yes, sir. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. This, this Pele card, this is what you would expect the beginning of the year. You know, when people first got him, they're like, oh, this card's amazing. You know, like, uh, look at him. This is what you, you expected. It's just insane dribbling. His dribbling is so good. The only reason why I lose possession of the ball there is because I'm pressing the, the dash button, which he's no bueno this year. Oh, what a jump, by the way. <laughs> Holy. Oh, I don't even know what I just saw. I don't even know what I just saw. I've never seen that shot before in my life. He literally slides for the driven slide shot. Like, okay. <laughs> Cordoba. Cordoba has been really good defensively. I don't know what just happened right there. This guy's playing to waste my time, but at least we could try out some th certain things here and there, you know? Please! Uh, no! Hey, they didn't say hi. <laughs> Oh, the jam! Uh, this game is uh, this game, 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 bro. Bro, this a Betty Pele card is disgusting. Nah, bro. Nah, this card. This card diffle.
He diffle, bro. He diffle. This guy's a beast. This guy's a beast. I'm telling you this right now, this guy's a beast. Oh my goodness, this card is crazy. Uh, Snip, how does he not like this card, bro? Crazy attacking on the get in behind, a finish like that? How? How, brother? <laughs> He's crazy, man. This card's crazy. Dude, I think that shot is going to be good, too. Oh, my goodness. Oh, on a green, maybe. Oh, dude, I was trying to time the left stick against the goalie. No. Oh, I red timed it because I'm trash. <laughs> oh, those left sticks are little, those little intricacies, man. It was popping off. We're good. We're good. We're good. No problem. No problem. My boy's a bet. My boy, I bet he's got it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He's chilling. Oh, I need to green it. Oh. Oh, nice try, nice try. Working those angles. Oh, come on, you gotta green it. Oh, you're hitting it perfectly too. Hey, my friend. Well, oh, Betty. A uh, Betty. A uh, Betty. I don't know. I don't know what I just did right there. Okay, it, it switched. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Oh, the push actually worked. <laughs> I was I was a little bit scared. I'm like, should I go for it? Like at the moment, I was like, should I go for a chip? I don't know if that's gonna work. <laughs> Beauty, we'll take it. Oh, <laughs> almost. No. Oh, if he actually pushed his goalie, that would have been perfect. Take it. No. Hmm. Five star. That's a five star week for that one, right? Okay. We'll take that. Free kick. Yes. Oh, why does it do that? 
Oh, I don't know what's happening. Shoot! I missed! No way! What? Yeah, you have to really control that last sprint where it's like you don't hold our trigger and you kind of hope that he does the sprint. You know what I'm saying? It's very strange to, to explain. No, give me it. Oh. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll take the jam. We'll take the jam. Mm -hmm. We'll take it. Okay, okay. We're just, we just like, we're just randomly scoring goals now. All right, cool. Look at that dribble. Oh, no. Yeah, I gotta do the Alaska. When you do the Alaska, it's you just, you're able to put your body ahead of the ball, you know? Do some quick accelerations here and there. No, come on, you should. Goalie, you gotta go to the floor. Go to the floor a little bit earlier, you know what I'm saying? Guy's taking out a hand, ruining my beautiful goal. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Abedi Pele card. So, uh, guys, in regards to how this card performs in game, either the Marksman or the Deadeye Chemistry style will be the right choice because. Uh, you want to be able to boost the shooting to be as perfect as possible. So, uh, guys, this is, in my opinion, a Betty Pele's first card that I actually feel like is pretty good, right? I didn't like his first that much. I didn't like his second one that much. You guys know I did the review. Some people were like, Inception, like in the first one, they're like, Inception, how could you not like this card? He's crazy, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, it just doesn't do it for me. You know, it really doesn't do it for me. I think the first one had like a medium, medium work rate or something crazy. And I'm like, this card doesn't do anything, man, you know? But this card significantly better significantly significantly better i think the only main thing that i would say is that you're probably going to notice the average body type more if the gameplay starts being weird right like that's when you're going to notice it more but generally speaking right you do notice that massive dribbling boost in the card i've trust me i've used this card so many times in the past and that was like a thing that was like kind of weird to work with you know um it was like it was decent but yeah, so much better on this card in regards to like a responsiveness. It, it's very, very needed that EA boosts the average body type to be close to 99 in every single stat so that these cards can actually perform properly, right? Uh, attacking AI was dope. Um, you can use them in pretty much any attacking position and genuinely doesn't matter. Uh, finesse shots are a little bit strange with him. I'm not going to lie. They are a little bit strange, like the left foot, the five star weak foot and stuff. I was trying some different angles and stuff, but sometimes it's the gameplay being a little bit weird, but I don't think he's like crazy special at them. Like when the gameplay is weird, you could still tell us certain cards are amazing at doing them like messy and stuff. Right. But, um, yeah, definitely a W card. Now, uh, I don't consider him S star tier you know not like that level but an s tier card for sure like s uh, s star tier is what i 100 with every single fiber of my bone know that a pro player would actually use in their team right like that's in my opinion uh s tier like it's like a 50 50 you know but um yeah he's really good i really enjoyed using him. we scored a lot of banging goals with him so uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video today i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys